welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a full roundup of my entire navigation collection because I've gotten some new stuff since I last did a try on and I can't remember like what's new. And I feel like just having everything in one final video will be really helpful because it'll just kind of go over everything that I have. And I kind of want to do these periodically with like my collections that I have. So a lot of Vitality, um, I could do Buff Bunny, Halara, like I can kind of just do like a collection and overall thoughts that'll be in one video. It might be a longer video, but I feel like it would be really helpful. Um, also, I noticed that there is not a lot of representation in the fitness world or a fashion world really for sizes eight to 10. Um, I was just looking over the Whitney collection that launched like two weeks ago. And I was looking for reviews because I kind of wanted to see how the leggings fit, how the new sports bra tops fit, everything like that. There was nobody really in my size. It was a lot of like small to mediums and then a lot of like large to extra larges, which is great, there's a range, but there's not really any smack dab in the middle. So I feel like I need to bring some representation to that kind of void in the fitness world right now. Um, so if you are looking for size eight to 10 fitness reviews, you've come to the right place because that is where I'm at right now. And I go in waves with working out. Um, right now, I will say, full disclosure, I have been at a really low mental health place recently. Um, and the first place that I hold that kind of stuff is in my stomach. So I haven't really been eating as much as normal. So I do feel as though I have lost a little bit of weight in my belly. Um, not the best way to go, obviously, do not recommend but it's just kind of where I go when I get stressed, when I get anxious, when I get depressed, it all goes to my stomach. So did want to disclose that if you see my stomach is just a little less puffy, it's just not, it's not natural and it's not healthy. So don't do that. Um, but if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Kelsey. Um, I do a lot of fitness reviews here. I also do just a lot of vlogs and day in the life and try and just film everything that I can. But the style that I do for try-ons is we kind of just go over everything that I have. So <clears throat> I have my entire navigation collection set up here. And then I am going to go over the try-on and kind of go over everything, how they fit, how they feel. I have worked out in every single one of these pieces. So I do have like follow-up reviews. I do have a lot of thoughts. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Grab your beverage of choice. I like to have everything correct in the video. So um, I might be reading off of my iPad because I just kind of took notes. So first up, I do have the solid seamless leggings. So this is obviously in the black and then I do have it in this taupe color as well. So this is just their normal seamless collection. This does not have the glute curve that they are very well known for. Um, just a very standard seamless legging. I do think that they are, them and Alpha Elite kind of do the best seamless that I have found so far. So that is what we're gonna be talking about today. And then to kind of piggyback off of that, I do have the two glute contours in Candy Apple Red and Mocha. So these are both the glute contours. As you can see, it does have that little like smiley face right there for the glutes. Um, seamless fabric as well. Everything else is pretty much the same, just the glute contour is different. So these are the khaki green signature 2.0 leggings. So I do have the shorts in the signature 2.0 fabric, this kind of stuff. So the reason I'm not gonna be including the signature pro shorts is because I feel like I have kind of beat a dead horse with those. I love those. And there's not much for me to say that that'll be different than the leggings other than like obviously they fit great around the thighs. Um, the reason I have included the uh, pro shorts is because I do have thoughts on those shorts. So in case you were wondering, just wanna clear that up. So speaking of, I do have the pro shorts. This is the indigo blue. And then I also have it in the khaki green. I'm obsessed with this khaki green recently. So I got a lot of it in that color. Um, but this is basically just a seamless short. And yeah, we'll go over my thoughts on the try on, but this is what we will be trying on. Moving into the bras, this is the Black Essence bra. So it looks like a long line, normal tank bra from the front. 
um, but the back it does have a extremely low cut V as you can kind of see there so it does give it some like back attention here um, it does come with cut pads and she's cute and then this is the white ignite seamless bra so obviously this is a seamless fabric bra um, it does come with cut pads it does kind of have that like differentiating ribbed fabric going on in the front um, and then it does have an adjustable back here so you can change the tightness that you like and then it does have just the openness right there and then obviously the racer back going on here this is the khaki green again poised top so this is really just kind of your standard workout tank top um i wouldn't say it's it's a very very cropped tank top uh but very standard very cute double straps uh built-in cut pads and then it does have a shelf bra as well they just released their halter sports bra i do not own a halter sports bra this is my first one um like i said i have worked out in this so i do i do have thoughts um but she's so cute and she really is just a standard seamless halter bra built-in cut pads as well and last bra is going to be the mocha flourish seamless bra so this is a definitely a sports bra out of <clears throat> So this is definitely more sports bra here. Um, obviously the built-in cup pads, it, they, all of these are removable, removable. You can take them out. Um, I just don't like nipping out, so I leave them in. Um, and then it does have this very strappy back. So there is one thing that is missing and I will put a picture up here. It is the open back t-shirt and I washed it and I don't know where it is right now. I have searched, I think, Maybe I didn't wash it like I thought that I did, um, and it could still be in the dirty clothes. I obviously haven't searched through there, but I just, she's on my eye right now. But I have thoughts on her. She, we'll just go ahead and do that now. She is perfection. I am obsessed with this t-shirt. The open back is amazing because it has built-in cup pads again. So you don't have to wear the bra. You don't have to worry about it being all weird back there. You can really just wear the t-shirt. Um, I will say that the armpits kind of dig in on me, but nothing too uncomfortable, nothing crazy. Obsessed with this t-shirt. Sign up for notifications for when it's back because it is, a, if you like that open back look, it is an amazing, amazing, amazing t-shirt and I love it. So let's hop into the try on. Okay, so first up we do have the solid seamless leggings in black. Um, I really like these. I usually am not a huge seamless person. I do like a little bit of glute contour going on, but the way that these navigation girlies wear it is like straight up the bum crack. Um, and I will say that it is a little, it's like, that's how you have to wear it to get any sort of definite, any sort of definite, any sort of definition in the glutes. Um, so I, you can't see much with these, um, but I do have the taupe color that I will also be kind of interlaying here so you can kind of see the differences. Um, I, I am a huge fan of these. I don't really have to situate these as much as like other leggings that I have struggle with CT with. I normally wear anti-CT underwear. I am not with this, so you can kind of just see exactly how everything's laying at my expense um but great seamless they do come up above my belly button here it is compressive in the waistband um they do go from sizes extra small to extra large not a huge um, size range i will say but i do think that these are stretchy enough to kind of go around so in leggings i do get mediums and then in shorts i get large right now um, I do tend to get a little bit of rolling here at the top. Um, again, I do have a very small like hip bone to rib cage ratio here, so I usually get rolling. Um, I am not a good candidate to test rolling, but I do get rolling on this. As far as squat proof, um, you can see my hand. So I wouldn't say that these are the most squat proof leggings especially for them being black. Uh, you would think they would be a little bit more squat proof, but these, not so much. Um, 
Putting them on again, I do really enjoy these. I don't feel like there's much settling. I have worked out in these and I don't feel like I had to adjust myself very often. So if you are looking for a good seamless legging, I really do recommend these. I think that these are a great starter legging. Um, or like if you want to start with seamless, I think these are a great way to kind of tiptoe in. flattering as I wanted them to be and I do like the black over this taupe color because I feel like it's just a lot more vulnerability going on if you will. So on top we do have the white ignite seamless bra going on here. Um, this is going to be the exact same fabric so as you can see with them kind of matching here it is going to be that like lined fabric that matches the seamless here and then it is going to be a smoother fabric up top so you do have that like band here that's going to be a different fabric. I do have the booby pads in and I think that they look really good in the sports bra. You really can't tell at least to me right now. Maybe it'll be different in the viewfinder but I this is really comfortable. Um, I do feel very supportive. I do not have a large chest so I can't vouch for that at all but I don't feel restricted around the mid like waist here. I do feel as though I can breathe. I feel supported. Uh, only thing I will say is I do get a little bit of digging in here and it does kind of settle in my like armpit fat that goes on up here. So that can get a little bit irritating. It's not going to be a bra that I hang out in um, but it definitely like does the job for working out. And I think that the back is super cute and the adjustability is really nice. So these are the leggings that kind of started it all for navigation. It is their glute contour seamless legging. So as you can see, it has the cheeky little smiles under the little booty. So it does give you a little bit of a shadow accentuation, if you will. Um, I hate these. <laughs> I don't like these as much as the regular seamless because I don't know why I bought these truthfully. I'm not a huge fan of the side detailing and I'm not a huge fan of the butt detailing. So questions on why this was bought in two different colors, mind you. Um, I think I hoped that I would look like those navigation girls that just look super cute with this on. I do not. The reason I am standing with my leg propped out like this is because I cannot stand with both legs by each other because the CTVCT, if you know what I mean. Um, so definitely more aware of that. I don't know what it is because this is the exact same fabric as the other seamless leggings and I just feel like it's a lot more going on here. Um, I feel like you either get CT or you get the Barbie crotch going on and I'm just not a fan. It's probably the lighter colors because I don't notice it as much with like the black but in this brown and in the taupe color. I just am not a fan. So that is their contour seamless legging from Navigation. If you do like the detailing and you like a seamless legging, these are going to be great for you. I just don't know why I bought them because I am such a plain girly and I never like designs on my leggings. So I don't know where I thought this was going. I don't know. But look at that little cheek. Do you feel like it accentuates here? But I'm not gonna be walking around the gym like this because I'm very self-conscious of what's going on in the front. So that's my issue with these leggings in particular. Because she got a cute little peach. There's nothing else looks right on these. <laughs> not seen the light of day outside of this house. I always wear them in because they're the most obnoxious color, but apparently that's what I was going for. And I love the color. Um, but again, the seamless contour, not my favorite. I did want to mention that my CT is so bad. That's why we're staying on the side here. I don't know what it is about me getting it in some leggings and not the others. I just feel like it's so much worse in these 
in this like contour seamless legging than just the regular seamless legging. I don't know. I did want to say that none of these seamless leggings so far are going to be super squat proof. Um, so you will be able to kind of see your skin through it. So just a heads up on that. And this signature 2.0 fabric are like thick as thieves. As I said, I already love their pro sh or signature shorts. This is the first time that they've released the signature fabric in legging. So I thought that I would throw a little review in here because I don't think I ever viewed them. These are my now go-to with navigation. Um, I think that having one good pair of stable black seamless leggings works well for me, but I don't think I'm naturally gonna gravitate towards the seamless fabric. I'm gonna gravitate towards this more like brushed fabric. So this is gonna be your more standard like legging with the seam down the inside and then it does have the glute seam and then it does have the glute contour going on as well back here. It is high rise right above my belly button which is where I like it. Um, a lot less compressive in the waist but still very supportive. I don't struggle as much with camel, yeah, I feel like it's not as bad here with camel. So looking in the viewfinder, kind of looking down, looking at myself, I don't feel like I'm struggling too much with CT in these. So definitely a bonus over the seamless. Again, I just truly like, and then the waist contour here. I just truly think I am more of a seamed legging girly. So these are definitely up my alley. Um, they are a full length legging on me. I am 5'7". So they do go down to that. I wouldn't say that it like does any compressing for the tummy in front, but again, it's supportive. So I don't feel like it's gonna roll down too much. Um, I did do an upper body workout in these and they did stay pretty well. I have not done a lower body, so I can't vouch for that, but they stayed on me pretty well for an upper body workout. These are their pro shorts. They are seamless short. It's basically their seamless legging cut off. This is six and a half inches, I believe. So you can stretch it down or you can kind of hike it up like I have. I, these are not the most flattering shorts on me. I don't like this that's going on. I just feel like it really brings a lot of attention. I don't like the way that they fit. I think they're really comfortable because this is a super, super stretchy fabric on the legs. I will say I do wear this with an oversized t-shirt and I love it because I don't have to worry about CT. I just, these are not my go-to shorts. I do have other shorts that I prefer over these. Um, but again, I do think that these are very comfortable. So it's not like they're not getting worn for certain uses. Um, it'll just be an oversized t-shirt kind of shorts, if that makes sense. So these are, <coughs> like what they're known for, their pro shorts. Um, they do come in a lot of beautiful colors. They do release them in new colors all the time. So I think that if you do like the seamless shorts, um, they're a great go-to brand. They're relatively cheap. Um, only issue is they're, they don't stay in stock very long, but they do have a lot of different color options. So you could really stock up, get the whole rainbow, and it worked really well for you. Um, but. That is just my personal opinion on these shirts. Okay, so we're going to stay in the black seamless leggings for the try on of the tops. So this is the Black Essence Bra. Um, I already can tell one thing I don't love. I, here, let me move you up since we're gonna do in bras now. So I do not like the way that this cuts me. Um, I think that it really just accentuates what I have going on here and I'm not too proud of that. So I just don't like the way that it falls on me. Um, I keep pulling it up and it keeps sliding down. So here is where it usually lands and it just looks like a funky setup. 
It is definitely a long line bra, so it does touch the top of the seamless leggings on me. I feel like the back is the whole attraction to the show here. So I do love that it goes down in the back. I think that's a really cute little small detail that just makes the sports bra a lot more fun to wear. Functionality though, because it doesn't connect anywhere but here, um, I think that's why it's like pulling and sitting so weird on me. I don't know how this would do for ladies with larger chests just because of the weird like cut in here. I don't know what that would do. Um, I don't have experience with larger chest, so really out of my realm there. Um, but for us itty bitty girls, I do think it works nice. Um, you can pull it up, give yourself a little bit of cleavage, nothing crazy. You are going to be pretty covered. So this top, I actually did a lower body workout in, I remember, and I remember I was doing hip thrusts and this little seam in the back here, it was pretty thick and it kept digging into the bench. Um, could just be the way my body is set up. Just wanted to mention that. Um, I'm not adjusting the straps, like they're not falling off, they're definitely secure here. Only thing I'm adjusting is tucking in the fat flaps that are off to the side here that I'm self-conscious of. So that's the Black Essence Bra from Navigation. So this is the khaki green poised top. It's really just like a crop tank top. It does have the double strap as like a nice little detail. Um, little thing, very small thing. Only thing I don't love is sometimes I do get rolling up top and the inside is white. So it's very apparent when it starts to like come out, you can just really see it. Very minor detail, but did want to mention that. Um, I really love this. I think that this is, a, if you like this kind of workout top, because it has the built-in um, cut pads with the shelf. So I think that if this is your kind of workout top, which I love working on like these kind of tops and like short sleeve crop tops, um, I think that this is a great staple. Relatively cheap, cute, minimal, and they do offer a lot of colors. Um, I'm sure you can find like a knockoff on Amazon, but I don't know how the quality will be. And I feel like these are relatively decent price where you don't have to necessarily like guess with Amazon because we all know how sketchy Amazon can be sometimes. Um, I tweaked my upper back. So if you see me being weird with turning, it's just, I, I don't know what I did. So one small detail that I do like is up front here is it just looks like a normal spaghetti strap here. But then in the back, the um, straps are more, are further apart, so you can tell like there's four straps instead of two. I think this is really cute. You can dress this up with jeans if you're confident with your midsection showing, which if you are, I am jealous. You go girl, show me pictures. I need to be inspi inspired. So I think my overall opinion, I just kind of have a lot of thoughts running through my head. Um, this is a very basic top. I will say that right out of the gate. Um, I do have another one from Hawara that is very soft. I really like that one as well. Um, so I think that if you love a color from a brand or whatever in this style, I say just go for the color because I don't know how different they're really all gonna be. Um, and like, unless it's cut pads versus no cut pads, just things like that. I would say like shop with whoever you like the best color or the best price or anything like that. I think that this is something you can definitely like play around with and find what works best for you. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, it is starting to get dark outside, so we gotta, only two more, I don't know why I'm hustling. So this is the halter top, the seamless halter top. Um, it is ribbed, that's the word I was looking for earlier, ribbed fabric. Um, I think this is just my anatomy. I'm gonna have it cutting out, showing the, sh the boob fat, no matter what. I worked out in this, I did an upper body day, and I did it with my boyfriend in the gym, and he said that my back looked really good in this, which, love that, bonus points. Um, I will say that I do have, again, a smaller chest, and it's already tight on my neck. I think that this kind of halter top bra, though, is always kind of gonna be like very aware of your neck. I don't love that feeling and I do feel like very almost naked in the shoulders because there's nothing connecting 
So I, it just, this isn't a bra that I'm used to, um, but I do really like kind of incorporating, like oh, I have that one shoulder from Alphalete, I like incorporating some fun things. So this is definitely going to be a staple. Um, it is going to be like my one halter top bra. I don't know if I'm gonna get many more just because I don't know how flattering they are on me particularly. So I did a little adjusting here and I mean, it helps a little bit, but still. I feel like there's more flattering bras for my chest size, but I have seen the halter top on a lot of people and it looks super cute on a lot of people. So if you're considering one, this is a great one. I think it's a good one to start with. Um, again, I love this khaki green color, so I'm following the color if anything. Okay, and last but certainly not least is the Flourish Bra, the Seamless Flourish Bra in this mocha color. This is more my style. We got a little bit lower cut here, so anything that I do have, um, we can give it a little help. I don't think that it's very supportive here, so I do feel like I have a little bit of bulging here, but that's just obviously me. Um, the back is the main attraction here. So obviously we have that super cute strappy back going on. I have worn this multiple times. I usually do back day in it because I think that it just, it really, it, they're besties. So this bra and back day, they're besties. Um, and I truly love it, but. So this strap is extremely tight. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's the first strap to snap. I feel like it, this bra, it is a relatively less expensive bra. So I just feel like this bra is going to be one of my first bras to actually disintegrate. But I love her for the time being. And she, she makes the back pop. I do have to mention that she, she is a little tight on top. Definitely digging into the traps a little bit here. Um, but sometimes I overlook that for the cuteness of the bra, which I do in this case. Truly, truly I do. Okay, you guys, so that is all that I have today. That is my navigation roundup. I hope that this helped. Um, I hope that if you are a size 8 to 10, you found some comfort in seeing a body type in different styles of things, what works for me, what doesn't. If you have any questions on any of the products, please leave it in the comments below. I will make sure and get back to you. Um, sometimes I forget, so I apologize. If I, if I do forget, but I really try my best. Um, I am going to be doing a very large try on in my next video from my favorite creator. If you already know, leave it down below because I don't think I am that quiet about who my favorite creator is. So if you guess it, then I will give you a special something if you want it. If you don't, that is fine too, but first person to guess who or what my next video will be about, get a little special something. So make sure you get those guesses rolling down there. Um, if you do have any questions, again, leave them in the comment box down below. Um, and I think that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.